So I know we all just got done watching The Color Purple today. So let me tell y'all what stuck with me the most about The Color Purple. And side note, like, The Color Purple is really not a typical Christmas movie because this is not the Christmas spirit. You got people being abused. You got people. You got sexism. You got racism. You got incarceration. You just got everything. But in, in, in all of that, I feel like there were some really beautiful messages. And there's three main things that come with me, that stick with me from it. One is just the strength of people especially black people but of course all people the ability to persevere through the type of stuff they persevere through is um amazing like to endure separation at such a young age i think they were 14 when nettie and Celie got separated and they nettie wrote Celie for like 20 years every week um how many of us stop praying for the things we want when it doesn't happen after like three weeks you know what i'm saying like persistence in faith persistence in prayer persistence in believing for something better like that's something that our ancestors really really did and they saw miracles but it didn't always come as quickly as we would have wanted and I think in this microwave generation we can really learn something from that the second thing is seeing the goodness of God amidst tragedy like the way that the color purple like that movie is known for so much trauma but the way they kept on bringing it back to god and the goodness of god and the ability of god to shine through with his love and light in the darkness um was really powerful especially because i think that when people go through things like the type of stuff that people went through in the color purple they question the existence of god and if they don't question the existence of god they question the love and goodness of god but one of the characters suge avery said it like this when Celie was questioning like is does God love me because if he loved me why would he take my netty away and why would he do this she said it sounds like man did that and just to be able to separate like what is our people doing how are people abusing their free will versus what is actually the doing of God and then when the good things do happen seeing that that is God working through people to bring redemption in a broken world like we really need that in this day and age like we can't believe that God has abandoned us and doesn't care about us because of the evil in the world. But we have to know that when we see good, that that's God reaching out to us. And last but not least, the power of identity. Did y'all see how Celie came alive at the end of that movie when she realized that she had a mother and father that loved her, that called her by name, that provided for her, that left her an inheritance? This is why that song, Good Good Father, says, you're a good father and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's because being loved is the foundation of our identity. So I pray that anybody watching this knows that if you're wanting to know who you are, you are someone who was created and loved by God. And once you have that as your foundation, you can lean into everything else that you're made and meant to be.